We did it! We finally won the Champions League on our third final. Crossing off another trophy for our Glory Hunter cabinet. But we ended the season resigning from Manchester City. And we headed into season number 7 of Glory Hunter without a job. But it wasn't until November when some interesting opportunities came about. And although Bayer Leverkusen were bottom of the Bundesliga, I felt like they easily had the best team out of the jobs available with the likes of Florian Wirtz and Fabian Ryder. So I applied for the job and hoped to head to the Bundesliga. As I expected, I got an interview quite soon after, but what threw me off guard was questioning me working in this country. May I remind you lads, I won the Champions League about six months ago. Then the obvious, why I want to do a step down question. But then they told me the huge transfer budget I had, which when I looked at their players sold this season, did make sense as to why there was such a big budget and why they were sat bottom of the league. That's all of their defenders. After the interview, I was the leading candidate for the job. And just like that, they offered me the job. I accepted the contract and I became the new manager of Bayer Leverkusen. Their team didn't look as good as I thought when they showed me the team report. It doesn't look like they have a proper goal scorer or a good defender in their side, but it's still a good base to start off with. And I took a look at the staff and I winced painfully. This is awful. Luckily, they have a technical director and he's very good and a former player too. I also found a problem. The squad is massive and full of players who definitely aren't good enough for this league. Now, I just highlighted the bottom half all in one go, and I set the transfer list just to save time, and it was transfer listing 19 players. Now, I take them over after they've just beaten Mainz 3-0 under their caretaker manager and have Stuttgart and Hamburg up next. There was a couple of injuries, but I still felt like this was a good team, and this 3-4-1-2 shape that I had set up. But we didn't exactly get off to a great start with two 0-0 draws. So I did make a couple of more changes to the instructions and I changed a player role or two. The good thing was that we were against bottom of the league, Werder Bremen, but the bad thing was that they destroyed us 2-0. The set-piece police will love it that my first goal came from a free kick, but finally Rykov scored a goal from open play and we picked up my first win at the club against Cologne, followed by another loss and January included three of the top four to play. We genuinely could be in a relegation battle during Glory Hunter right now. I sold midfielder Palacios because he kicked off about the results lately, then got himself sent off, which made me fuming. And I cried into a pillow as I watched Erlen Haaland lift another Ballon d'Or on the telly. I miss you. So I got to work and I signed my first player, who I'll be honest, when the scouts recommended him, I thought was a new gen. But no, Onyek Boule from Basel cost just short of £10 million. Similar story, to be honest, to the second signing, Junior Krupe, who we paid little more from Lorien to help score some goals as he already has 10 this season. And yeah, I'll be honest again, I was finding it hard to attract players to a relegation fight inside and this was one of the best defenders I could get and that's only really because he was in the Serbian league and had a release clause. I already had planned a transfer for the summer too, bringing in Bijlo in goal on an end of contract deal. He's a fantastic goalkeeper. Results had gotten better and we were through to the next round of the DFB Pokal after beating Bochum. But after scoring in that game, Krupi got injured and will miss the next three weeks, including the Bayern Munich game, which came up next. They battered us 3-0 and we had another injury to a new player. This one was a lot worse and he was out for two to three months. I seen a very good player in Eric Garcia pop up on the transfer list and I instantly needed to sign him. I was shocked he wanted to join us and we got the job done. What an acquisition that is. Suddenly we had confidence and we took on current leaders Wolfsburg and beat them 1-0. On deadline day we signed two players. First off Omar Sanchez who was transfer listed at Manchester United after only making three appearances signing in the summer. A young hungry striker from Uruguay. And next a more familiar name Max Aaron from Manchester City who was again on the transfer list who improves our right back position. We had around £46 million left in the transfer budget but I didn't want to spend it all as I kind of fear that that's not going to increase in the summer which by the way I was right to assume. Anyway February brought the cup draw and of course we get by Munich who knocked us out of the competition fairly comfortably if I'm honest. Which speaking of the DFB Pokal is my favourite looking trophy. In February we added 5 points and in the league we only lost to Leipzig which was a good sign and we pulled ourselves out of the relegation for now. Following this we played Dortmund and pulled off one of the best results during my short time here at the club so far after falling behind. Goes from Rykov against his former club and a fantastic pass found Nieheim to bag a winner. We still can't establish a main striker to score our goals because a few 
few games later, without any, I gave Krupi a shot up front after his injury, and he scored two goals in another win against Mines. It's April, and our top scorer has just eight goals this season. I'm used to this man bagging three quarters of that in one game. We are still struggling around relegation with just five games left. And our fixtures all include teams around us or Cologne who is fighting for Europe. And they only managed to find a winner against us in the 94th minute. Against Hamburg though, Fabian Ryder missed the penalty and the follow-up rebound as well. Not great. But then eventually we broke them down in the second half and Onyeg Boule was played through and he slotted in the winner. Against Werder Bremen we relied on a solid defence again but not only did they keep a clean sheet but Max Ahrens got the only goal of the game. Those two wins secured our safety to stay in the Bundesliga next season and I am relieved. And we celebrated that by absolutely destroying Schalke on the final day 6-2. Which included three goals from Omar Sanchez. The young Uruguayan was fantastic may be proving to me that he is the guy that we can rely on next season to push this relegation battle inside closer to the European spots and hopefully maybe even snag a Europa League spot. Or I apply for Leipzig who just sacked their manager who could actually finish in the European spots if Bayern Munich beat Frankfurt in the DFB Pokal final. But instead Frankfurt caused a huge upset and beat them 4-1 and they took a Europa League spot for themselves. So I began rebuilding this team and I noticed Kieran Tierney was transfer listed by request so I matched the valuation of 24 million and I put an offer in. But he decided to join West Ham for less money instead the absolute snake but on the 1st of July, we welcomed three new signings. Of course, the goalkeeper was one, but after unsuccessfully going for Kieran Tierney, I went for Tyrell Malassia, and I brought in the Dutch defender for just 15 million. And coming off the back of one season in Saudi Arabia, I also signed Mariba from Al Nasir for 20 million pound, a world-class potential midfielder who can do many different roles. And before you know it, our first Bundesliga game of the season came around, and we start the campaign against Dortmund, and our lineup with a brand new system was missing Florian Burch from the starting 11 due to an injury. I also, by the way, sold Rykov to Cologne very recently for £20 million, but I had a replacement on its way already lined up. But before that, the first game of the season is here and it seems like the first impressions are that we may avoid the relegation scrap this season because Omar Sanchez put us two goals up and Krupi netted a third. And a reminder, this is an away game. Dortmund pulled one back, but Sanchez got his hat-trick and it's 4-1 win. So that replacement striker, it's Nelson Viper, a fantastic all-round striker who is very good at almost everything. He's six foot four as well, so he's got a bit of a presence up front. And we spent £30 million on the German. So it's been a good start to this season. I think the tactic will be better with the players that we've brought in. And I'm happy with the changes I've made since taking over the club in the relegation zone. I'll see you next week for the next episode.